So, I want to talk to you guys about Obama's inauguration. Like, who isn't happy that Barack Obama was inaugurated today? Like, I think the entire world, probably about 25% of it, of course, is not happy, but the entire world should be happy that this is happening. It's history. And I'm even sorry I couldn't make it because um, I had to work, but I'm sorry I didn't attend his inauguration. It was just mind-blowing. Like, I almost cried at work. And my best friend in New York is like, she's been crying all day. So this is it's serious. This is really happening, really happening. Like, wow, it was when he got elected was one thing. But to see him oh, take those oaths and actually be sworn in the presidency, that's something huge, it's major. And, you know, America, to see as many different races standing there all united and not caring, oh, your hair is this way, mine is that way, your skin color is this way. You know, to see everybody still there all together and, you know, taking part was just something major and I think it's something that America should have done uh, this, this time should have came a long time ago like this is long waited for and it's finally happening and I was excited at work and I got to watch Obama and Biden get sworn in while I was at my office so I believe that this is what America needed what we've made what we've been missing it's just history. It's time to change a little bit, you know. Do something different, you know. Start over. Well, not start over, but start something new, you know. To have the first African American, black, president. <laughs> it's huge for everyone, not just the African American black community, community, but it's huge for everybody. Everybody should be taking this in and people who attended, you know, it was just awesome that everyone reached out all over the country, all over the world, everyone came and reached out to enjoy something as phenomenal as this is. This is just, it's mind-blowing, there's no even words to describe it, it's just awesome, I'm gonna say, and I mean, I, even though, like I said, I had to go to work, but I still showed my Obama spirit, like on my cell phone, I'll show you guys. Obama and it says change we can believe in as you see it's like 10 55 because I had to take some rest I've been up since 6 o'clock this morning and if you look on the inside that's the number see he won one look it up so I did show my Obama support and out here living in DC Metro I have um, I ordered the, um, the Obama Metro card rail thing which you can check out WMATA.com but I got that to show my support since I wasn't able to attend any other inauguration events which I feel horrible about but being that I live right here so I was kind of upset about that but um I mean this is awesome man I'm sorry I could have attended I could call my mom as soon as I got out I was mad I was like mom you know I wanted to attend inauguration and I couldn't and da 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 so I still haven't finished watching it all but you know this is something I really wish I could have attended so oh well but you know I wish Barack Obama President excuse me President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama the best of all you know I do hope that the country will, uh, all of the country will accept them. So there are some people out there who don't accept them for their own personal reasons. And, you know, I do hope that the entire country can come together and just be like, you know what, this is the president, he's changed, you know, let's just move on. You know, let's forget all the stuff. Not forget, but move on past it and just come together and just, you know, be a good country. People look up to the United States. Like we run this <laughs> and you know it's just time to just come on grow up get over it and um for a lot of people were like 
oh, F George Bush and all this stuff. You know, I kind of felt sorry for the guy because he honestly didn't know what he was doing. So I don't want to say F George Bush. I just hope that, you know, he takes a long vacation and finally realizes that he kind of messed things up bad. You know, I... F the judge, but no, that's just extreme. Like, if he, I've heard people say, oh, he just needs to croak and die and all this stuff. But I don't think, you know, I don't wish death on anyone or anything bad. I just hope that he realizes that, yeah, you made a lot of big mistakes and costly ones. Like, really, really big costly ones. So, I hope he realizes that. Maybe he should write a letter to America. I'm sorry. That would be nice. But I don't wish the man to die. No, that's just not me. That's just wrong. Mm -hmm. Probably Martin does, but that's too that's just wrong. You know, Martin my teddy bear, he probably thinks that I can just Anyway, back to topic. Um just celebrate. You know. Don't celebrate too hard because um coming home from work today took me two hours and I lived twenty minutes from my job, took me two hours. I appreciate that. Y'all partying too hard out there. Just slow that partying down. So I wanted to go home. It took me two hours to get home. I appreciate that. Goddamn hard. Anyway, sorry. Um, but yeah, you know, inauguration 2009. This is the biggest one out of all 44. This is the biggest one. So, celebrate. I know I'm celebrating all of that once because my birthday is like next week. So, the 28th, my birthday is January 28th. But I'm celebrating the 30th, so I'm just going to kill two birds and one stone to celebrate inauguration and my birthday at one time. So, Whatever. So anyway, peace. I hope you enjoyed the inauguration. Time to change, you know. As he said, we can change. As my cell phone says when it rings, it lights up. We, what's that say? Change, we can believe in. Change, we can believe in. You got change. You got to get the screensaver and change. See y'all later. 2009 inauguration, January 20th, 2009. It's a history date. It should be celebrated every January 20th. It should be history date. Obama's inauguration.